Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Uh, we're going to start off your readings with the shell readings and then quickly go into the tarot cards. And finally, uh, getting a message from the Moonology Oracle cards to see what spirit has in regards to your love and romance. So let's get right into your reading, Virgo. Let's see what the messages are in regards to your love and romance. There it is. What are the messages for Virgos? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay. All right, Virgos. So I, I what I, what I am picking up on right now, and and for some of you guys, um, there is almost a feeling of detachment for some of you guys. Now this could be whether you're in a serious long term relationship, or for those of you guys that are single, uh, you may start to experience, or perhaps you've been feeling like you're very detached. You're very like standoffish. Um, like I said, even if you are in a relationship. It's like you're here, but not really here. Now, this could be um, for different reasons. For some of you guys, it could be that you just don't feel that connection or you don't feel um, like you guys are in stable ground. For some of you guys, it could be that you keep dealing with people from the past uh, or giving opportunities to those that have let you down on multiple occasions, Virgo. Uh, but for others of you, it could just signify that you are, I'm, I'm seeing almost like the energy of the hermit um, where you're very contemplating or, or contemplating on what this year has been for you guys. A lot of you guys I do see like really putting effort or even being a little bit frustrated when it comes to your love life. It's almost a feeling like when you are trying to have a good time, you have absolutely no problem finding people that are willing to jump that wagon. But when it comes to something strong, something to solidify, it's almost like a energy of frustration. Like I said, a feeling of, you know, it's so difficult to find someone that is looking for the same thing I am or a feeling of like mutual connection. And what they're saying is this is only temporary Virgos. Um, even if you've been dealing or feeling this way for the past year or so, um, this is almost like you're getting to the point of the, the ending of a struggle or a frustration that you're experiencing when it comes to love and romance. Now, in the present, you have two cards here. For some of you guys, it could be that there is actually a new connection or a new relationship that is starting to form. Uh, for others of you, this could also represent pregnancy. Uh, so if you guys are not trying to get pregnant, be careful. Um, I think there's like four other signs that have been warned about that. Um, as I do see you guys very fertile and I do see like prone to accidents uh, in regards to like sexual connections. So again, if you're not trying to get pregnant, make sure that you take care of yourself. Guys out there, if you're unsure or it's something that is new and just starting make sure to strap it so you don't regret it uh -huh. um but again i do see a new beginning here and it's right at the center so this is signifying to me for a lot of you guys i want to say the end december going into even the first cycle of january there's going to be a lot of people coming around you or people that you're going to hear from your friends or people that are very close to you that they are actually interested or that they're wanting to get to know you better. Um, try the best you can to stay away from immature type of energy, Virgo. And if this is you, the one that uh, maybe sometimes can act a bit immature when it comes to relationships, as an example, if you're getting to know someone and you're really craving or wanting attention and they're not really giving you attention, don't go the petty route of like posting on social media that you're going out with other people um, because they're saying that there is a lot of like immature type of energy that you've been dealing with or perhaps feeling. And it's almost like an, it's a feeling of like when you don't get what you want, you throw a tantrum. So try to keep that in check. Now, 
if this is a person that you're currently dealing with and you've been experiencing like that they've been acting a bit erratic or you just don't understand why they're acting a certain way, it could just be that that's their way of like throwing a tantrum because they're trying to get your attention. So don't let that um, upset you or get the best out of you, and especially for those of you guys that are in a long-term committed relationship. If you've noticed your partner acting a bit strange or, like I said, erratic in their mood, in their behavior, um, it may mean because they see you very detached, uh, they see you very, like, distant, that they're just trying to get or, like, throw, pretty much throw the bait, throw the hook, and try to pull you towards them because they're trying to get some type of attention or rise out of you. So just be careful with that. Now, moving forward, I do want to mention, like I said, for a lot of you guys, I think there's a lot of contemplation going on. Um, maybe even feeling like now is the time to settle down. For some of you guys, it could be um, going over or being able to come through um, and break through this obstacle, sorry, this obstacle of what you guys are currently experiencing, um, like I said, of that of the partner, like throwing tantrums or whatnot. Um, but I do see that there is a lot of contemplation in regards to the future for you. So I think that a lot of you guys may be experiencing like a, a lot of nostalgia. Uh, it could be the holidays, um, feeling like, you know, where was I at this point in my life last year? Uh, am I doing the same thing? Am I in the same situation? Am I single again? Or am I still dealing with the same relationship that's really not working? That type of energy. It's a lot of contemplation that's happening, a lot of reflection that's going on. But I think that this is definitely a positive thing for you, Virgo, because it's giving you um, an opportunity to see where you've progressed in different aspects of your life. And if there is a specific area uh, obviously, this is a love reading um, in, in regards to love and romance. If there is pretty much you've been experiencing like the same result that you've been having in the past, now is the time to change that. And the only way to do that going into the new year is, again, if you tend to fall for a specific type, then I would encourage you to keep an open mind and to give opportunities or your attention towards people that are the opposite of what you usually tend to uh, find or being very pulled towards. Um, you know, as an example, if you're into like the party type style, um, obviously, if that's exactly what you go for, then you're not going to be getting a long term relationship. If you are or if you yourself are the party goer and like to go and have fun and like be the extrovert, Perhaps you're needing someone that is a little bit more introverted or someone that is more calm, more collected, because that's going to bring stability. That's going to bring balance into that relationship. You cannot go, uh, when it comes to partnerships, you cannot go for someone that is exactly like you, uh, because then there's going to be lack of balance. There's going to be, um, they're going to have a lot of what you have. Therefore, it's going to keep you in balance. And part of partnerships has a lot to do with um, finding in our counterpart or in our partner uh, some of the things that we lack because we learn from that and therefore vice versa they find in us what they tend to lack because it brings balance to them as well so take that for what it is now let's get into your cards All right, Virgo, let's see. Let's see. All right. Your first card here is the Six of Cups. Yeah. So like I said, a lot of contemplation. I see you guys like really going, like reflecting on a lot of things, um, mostly relationships. Obviously, this is a love reading, <laughs> but really like wondering. And for some of you guys, it could be that you're seeing people around you that have either, you know, became serious in their relationship or that they just recently, you know, started dating someone. And it's almost a feeling like, I don't want to say sadness, but like being a bit disappointed that you're not experiencing that or that you haven't experienced that. And this is directly connected to those of you guys that have been single for a while. Uh, with the Six of Cups, this is, um, this is friendship. This is, uh, Okay, so for some of you guys, it could be 
uh, that one of the issues when it comes to relationships is that you um, have a tendency, you have a tendency of uh, perhaps like getting too along with the partner or the person of your interest. So it's hard for them to read and they kind of put you in that friend zone. Um, for others of you, it could represent that you are genuinely interested in someone that is very close to you or around your circle of friends. Um, now, for those of you guys that are, are in a long-term committed relationship, this could just represent feeling, uh, like I said, very nostalgic, looking towards the past and being able to see how far along you came uh, or dealing with a person from the past as well. Now, your obstacle here is the three of pentacles, Virgo. So the three of pentacles is that of group settings. So this is an obstacle. So for a lot of you guys, like I said, if you tend to go after people that perhaps are around the same group or circle of friends that you have, it could be that you have a tendency of falling into like the friends category or people put you in the like you're being friend zone type of energy. And it could be because you don't approach relationship. And it, for some of you guys, it could even be that you're just not comfortable uh, going out on like serious dates or whatnot. But what they're telling you is that there is a need for you um, to come closer to the person that you're interested in or when you're getting to know someone don't be very quick to expose them to your friends or to bring them around your friends because this is more of getting to know each other on one-on-one -on -one basis. Um, if you can see here, uh, you can see the, the cat, right? And the cat is looking towards what this guy is doing and very attentive. But sometimes that could represent like outside influence or energy. And for some people, it could be very intimidating, especially if they know uh, that the people around you or they know the people around you. Um, so it could be that they themselves are not comfortable with saying, hey, you know what, we should go out on a date because they know that perhaps you're going to go back and tell the circle of friends that they're interested in you. So again, what they're saying is try to take it back where it's more personal. Now, for others of you, it could be that in the present, there is a lot of of needing to have to work things out or work issues out in your partnership and there is a refusing of doing that there's a refusal of that uh, for some of you guys it could be that the partner just doesn't want to communicate or they're not emotionally available uh, for others of you it could represent that uh, you're willing to put the effort and wanting to work things out or wanting to have a better balance in the relationship but someone in this relationship is not really putting the effort. Now, your past and passing position here is the nine of swords. So anxiousness, a little bit of restlessness for some of you guys. I, I'm feeling more of nostalgia type of energy. So I don't think that this is like any type of anxiety, although some of you guys may be experiencing that. Um, but this is talking about more like being so much in your head. Uh, sometimes, especially because it is the pentacle suit, for some of you guys, it could be that you yourself, it, you're creating your own blockages, um, and it could be out of fear. Now, your next card here is the queen of pentacles, and the queen of pentacles obviously is your suit, Virgo, but this can also represent um, feeling more in control or feeling more grounded. Now, if you guys can see here, um, dogs usually or most of the time represent loyalty. Uh, so I think that for a lot of you guys, there is a lack of loyalty when it comes to the partners uh, that you tend to attract or that you tend to uh, open up to, or I guess the one that your heart corresponds to. Um, there, there could be something of lack of, of loyalty for some of you guys. It could just be that you're experiencing that the relationship is not growing or perhaps they're not wanting to make it official and there's some type of frustration there. Now, the energy crowning you is the five of swords and five of swords always indicates to me a struggle. I think that you guys are very much in your head. I think for some of you guys, it could even got, it could have gotten to the point of like feeling very, like what's the point of even trying to date type of energy 
Um, and it could be because in the past, perhaps they've ghosted you. Uh, perhaps you've given it a go and just people are not as receptive to you. But again, it goes back to what they're telling you. You have to keep an open mind and make yourself available. Don't expect people to uh, try to approach you if, every, if all you do is put that bitch face when you're out and about because that could come off as intimidating. You have to be inviting. And the only way to do that is to open up your heart chakra, to smile, to look around, to, to make yourself inviting. Um, a lot, when it comes to relationships, it has a lot to do with the body language. So if you're standing in a corner with your, you know, with your arms crossed, that's complete, like you're closed off. So people are not, they don't tend anyways to approach you because they see you as, um, on a subconscious level, they see you as completely, you know, blocked or that you're not open, that you're not wanting to make conversations. So again, uh, that could be one of the issues that you're experiencing. But again, with the five of swords, I feel that this is more of a mental thing for you. Now, for others of you, those of you guys that are in a long term relationship, the five of swords can actually indicate having a lot of like difficulties or fights and arguments, but it's mostly petty arguments. And with the Nine of Swords, this is bringing a lot of anxiety or a lot of worry to you. And it could be because you feel like it's not progressing or things just keep getting worse instead of it's like it's almost a feeling like the more effort and the more energy I put into this relationship, the worse it keeps going. So it's like at this point, you're not really knowing how to deal with it or you don't know what to expect. Now, we do have here the Page of Swords. So, yeah. There's a lot of swords here. This is signifying to me a, like a lot of stress, a lot of self-doubt that's happening with you, uh, Virgo. And the page of swords could represent, for those of you guys that recently there was like a pulling away or an ending of a relationship and you're waiting for them to reach out to you, but there's lack of communication on their part. Uh, this can symbolize that they are like secretly looking at your social medias or looking at your Snapchat, Instagram, that type of energy, but they're not making it known to you. Um, so even if you think that they don't care, it's almost like they are looking into your, you know, what's going on in your life, but all the while maintaining their posture or how you would view them. Um, so if you're thinking that, you know, they're not, they don't care or they're not looking into the situation, that's a lie because I definitely do see someone stalking here. Now, this could be you as well, Virgo. This could be you talking to a person that perhaps um, you were very interested in and wanted to continue pursuing the relationship or the connection, but there was some type of ghosting or some type of ending uh, that wasn't like there was a blockage definitely here that there was no progress. And this, like I said, this could also be you, the one that's doing that. Now, your advice card here is the hermit card and the hermit card um, this signifies to me a lot of spiritual connection, but I think that more than anything, um, as this coming up as your advice card, what they're telling you here with the hermit card is that, yes, it is very difficult for us to change our habits. Uh, it's very obviously when it comes to love, we have a specific, um, uh, type or personality that we're very drawn to. And that's something that it's just an animal instinct. We can't. We can um, ignore that, but what they're telling you is use your intuition. Use your intuition when it comes to relationships. Don't be very quick to open up or don't make yourself too available. Um, the hermit, there's also a feeling of like having to, I don't like to say play the role when it comes to relationships, but there is a need for you to keep some mysteriousness to yourself um, because it's almost like I got, you're so into them that you can go on for like hours texting them throughout the day. And that's fine initially when it comes to, you know, getting to know someone. But it's almost like when you're kind of putting yourself out there and telling them exactly like everything about you, there's an overwhelmingness that some people, if they're not, you know, if they're very easy to be distracted, they could grow tired of that very quickly. So your advice card here is, Know your worth, Virgo, but at the same time, don't be very, uh, very quick to want to tell someone exactly who you are in like three days. You know what I mean? Take your time. Make them work for that. Make them work for getting to know you better. Only then will you be able to actually 
uh, not only keep their interest, but spice things up because sometimes it's nice not knowing about people. You know what I mean? Uh, and the best way of describing it is, have you guys ever experienced, have you guys ever experienced like you're getting to know someone, right? And you're very into each other and you guys are communicating like nonstop. And out of a sudden, they just stop communication and you're left wondering like, what the hell happened? Like, did I do something wrong? Was it something I did? Was it something I said? And then a week or two weeks later, they pop, pop out of the blue. And it's like, in your mind, you kind of went over like what could have happened that you kind of over obsessed about it, where it gets to the point where you kind of put them on a pedestal. And it like the connection wasn't even that great. But because of that feeling of rejection, it's like, oh, I need to know what happened. And when they communicate with you, it's like you jump on it very quickly. But then again, it's a hot and cold type of energy where they get tired or they get bored or they have other options and they start dealing with other people. And then they come back and it's like you always accept them or you always take them back. And the reason for that is not because you're genuinely interested in them or because you genuinely love them. It's just the feeling or the fear of rejection that keeps it. And usually narcissistic people tend to do that. Like they kind of come and go. And the reason is because they kind of set you up to the feeling of you're, they're almost attainable. But once they like back up, it's like you come to, to on a subconscious level, you kind of obsess over them because it's like they seem so unreachable that when they start to give you that attention again it like it just draws you back in and like i said connection could be horrible um but you will obsess over it why because it, it's a hot and cold type of energy and like i said this is a game that narcissistic people are very very good at so if that's the energy that you've been dealing with or that you've been struggling with like show them the freaking door and don't waste your time like don't just don't Try the best you can to keep an open mind when it comes to partnerships and give the opportunity to people that perhaps you're not even into, you know? Um, the best example I can give you is at some point in my life when I was, you know, way back in the day, <laughs> uh, very much into bad boys, right? And I just got to a point where I was like, that's just, it's just tiring. Like, there's no brain up there, you know? Like, I need more substance. I need more this. I need more that. So what did I do? I started going for people that had the same interest I did. And then that energy or that, you know, uh, combination and dynamic started to change. And I started experiencing nothing but like more fruitful, more relationships of substance. So again, it's about progressing and growing. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Of course, if you want to just have fun, then go ahead and have your fun, Virgo. But if you are looking for something substantial and something that is going to be long term, you got to switch some things up. OK, now, when it comes to partnerships and relationships, again, the hermit is the same type of energy. I feel that it's more about uh, internalizing and listening to your intuition and also <clears throat> try to be a little bit more social Virgo. If you felt like all you've been doing is working and getting home or, you know, not really even like putting effort or energy in the relationship, like to romance, uh, to even have like any type of sexual relationship with your partner. It's time you start doing that because the queen of pentacles is also you're an earth energy, but it also speaks about the physical and there's a need for release. Y'all know what I'm talking about. So there you go. Now, your next card here is the Justice card, and the Justice card is the energy currently surrounding you. So again, a lot of balance is going to start to come into your life, Virgo. You're going to start to experience, for some of you guys, you may be dealing with um, with a Libra. For others of you, you may be dealing with the Water energy, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Uh, and again, like I said, with the Justice card here as an energy surrounding you, um, what they're telling you is that a lot of things are going to start to balance themselves out. And again, seeing people truly for what they are, like I said, if you're experiencing that type of hot and cold type of energy, show them the door. That's going to bring you balance, not only that, but it's going to keep you more focused on people that are coming towards you instead of like passively just ignoring them because this person has you so obsessed or has, you know, your full attention because you're just waiting for that text or you're just waiting for them to reach out. 
Now your next card here is the Two of Swords. Wow. You guys have a lot of swords. So I think that this is more to do on a mental aspect. For some of you guys, it could be that you yourself have, have created this um, this blockage when it comes to relationships. It could be for some of you guys, it could be the feeling of fear. Fear of like winding up al alone or the fear of never being able to find marriage for some of you guys. Uh, the fear of not finding a long-term relationship. And what they're telling you is you cannot continue um, dating the same people. It's like, I say the same people. I know obviously it's not the same people, but the same energy, just a different person. Um, you have to change something about the same process you've been doing to be able to see a different or altered outcome. Uh, with the Two of Swords, this is your fears and desires. There's a lot of things that you don't want to look at. There's a lot of things that you don't want to accept or you don't want to change. And this is something I've always said. When it comes to habits, this is the hardest shit we can ever do. Why? Because we're creatures and we're creatures of habit. That's just what it is. We don't like change. We don't like to do dating very different than what we've been doing for the past two years. You know what I mean? Like you don't want to have to go uh to a different place a different you know where you can meet people i mean for some you know i know a lot of clients that go to specific clubs that have been going there for the past five years and that's how they hook up um but of course you're going to continuously like i said keep dating or bumping into people with the same energy and you don't want that if what you're wanting is something more long term it's time for you to start you know attracting like attracts like so you got to start doing things that are quite the opposite of that of just having fun uh whatever that means to you now your final card here is the page of pentacles and the page of pentacles is a message coming through for some of you guys it could be a message that you've been waiting from this person um but like i said you know what this is this is the best thing i can tell you guys if you guys are experiencing like a tug and pull or a hot and cold type of energy this is a very immature type of energy, and you shouldn't even be wasting your precious time on that. And I'm being completely honest. Now, for those of you guys that have been or are in a long-term committed relationship, and again, you're, there's still struggle and there's still imbalance there, and you're hoping that someday, by a miracle, your partner's going to just wake up and say, you know what, I'm going to be completely loyal or I'm going to be completely like balanced and justly. Um, if that's what you're expecting or what you're wanting, chances are it's not going to happen. The only one you don't have control over anyone, Virgo. The only person you have control over is yourself. So keep that in mind and understand that. Okay, this was a long reading. <laughs> so I'm going to be pulling out your final message. And this is Spirit's message for you. What do you need to release? Waning moon. See? This is exactly what we're talking about. There is there is a lot of opportunity. I see a lot of potential in this reading. I think that there's a lot of new beginnings for you guys. Um, for some of you guys, there may be like a feeling of frustration because you think you haven't seen any progress. But what Spirit is telling you is release what's not working for you. You know, let it go. If it's that X that keeps coming back and you've given them more than enough tries, show them the door. And lock that shit when they walk out. <laughs> Don't deal with that anymore. If you're feeling like I'm never going to get married or I'm never going to find that long-term relationship, let that thinking go. You got to let that go. You have to have faith. Know your worth. You deserve to be loved, Virgo. You deserve to be treated right. You deserve to be taken seriously. But you got to teach people to do that. You know, people that come into your life that don't know you, they're going to treat you how you allow them to treat you, what you're teaching them. So don't settle. And if you think or you tend, have a tendency of settling just because you want to keep them around, don't do that. The moment you feel that there's some type of disrespect or the moment you feel that they're not being completely honest, call them out on their bullshit. Let go of whatever is not working for you. 2020 is your year, baby. Remember that. All right. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this reading and we will see each other in January. I want to wish all of you guys a happy and merry Yule, merry Christmas, and happy New Year's. I hope you guys are able to enjoy this time around family and people that matter the most and that really, really bring abundance, happiness, joy, and laughter to our lives. Till then, I will see you guys soon. Bye.